In this video, I will demonstrate how we can set up Java development environment in Visual Studio Code. So we need to download three things. The first one is JDK or Java development kit. The second one is Visual Studio Code, VS Code and the third one is Java extension pack inside the VS Code. The link for first two is provided into the description and you can also go to the official website to find the latest release. The third one Java extension pack is a Visual Studio Code extension pack. It means it is a collection of more than one extension. Actually it is a collection of six extensions. I have already downloaded all the required files so we will start with JDK. You can go with the VS code uh, the order doesn't matter. So we will st install JDK. Installing done and then we will install VS code And then launch. Next step is we need to add JDK path to environment variables. So I will open control panel. If your control panel does not look like this, then you will click on this view by button, drop down, and will select large or small icon, whatever you like. And then click on this system it will open system properties then click on this advanced system settings and then environment variables if you do not find this environment variable option then you need to click on this advanced step and then go to this environment variable option here we will select path inside the system variable section and then edit now I need to find the path of JDK so I will go to the my C drive then program files and Java JDK 14 that we have downloaded and installed and that bin folder and I will copy this whole URL or I say folder location and then I will go back to this environment variable option then I will make a new entry and then paste this location and ok 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 so now we are set with the environment variable so we will go back to our visual studio code and then click on this extension button the hotkey is control plus shift plus x and then I will type java extension pack inside the search bar and then I will select this one which is provided by Microsoft and then click on install it will install all six child extensions Installation done. We can also enable this semantic highlights option. So now you can work on Maven Java projects and can also work on standalone Java files on VS Code. If you are familiar with the VS Code extension, then you would also know that you can also install extensions through VSIX file which can be downloaded from Visual Studio Marketplace. So if you do not have an internet connection on your computer, which is not a usual case nowadays, 
then you need to download the extension pack along with all the child extensions from Visual Studio Marketplace and then install them one by one. If you can use an internet connection then it will be better because when you will download the pack all the child extension will be downloaded automatically. I will try to cover the offline method in another video. So thank you very much.